Hi, Corey Geiger along with Nate Wardell, another edition of our PSU Presser, 23-17 win over Syracuse. Penn State did a lot of things wrong, but one thing that Bill O'Brien just talked about during his press conference was, hey, they won the game. That's really all that matters. One for 16 on third downs, four turnovers. You look at a lot of things they did, you would think they're going to lose this kind of game. But I like O'Brien's optimistic, positive approach because he just pointed out 65 scholarships, all these things, freshman quarterback. Hey, they still won the game. That's the most important thing. Yeah, and he's definitely trying to set a positive tone, and, and I give him credit for that. I mean, uh, you know, I don't think he ever wants anyone to lose sight of the adversity that they're under, and it's his job to remind everybody he's the main spokesman. So, uh, you know, we, hey, everybody diag uh, you know, diagnoses football uh, after the fact, and you look at these some of these stats, and then they just jump off the stat sheet, one for 16 on third down. Uh, the fact that uh, you don't even have to look at the stat sheet to see that they had trouble running. So all of us, uh, you know, right away point to, well, what can they do better? And I'm sure they're doing that, but uh, you know, it's interesting that he's taken the other thing that jumped out to me is what a difference a week makes. Because he was a little edgy last week, particularly late in the week when ESPN kind of confirmed slash broke a story that Hackenberg was going to start. Today, O'Brien was in a great mood. He was clearly joking around with a lot of people. Uh, and I, I attribute that what a, what a difference a week makes when you win. When you win the game. Yeah. I mean, and that, you look back to last year, Ohio, Virginia, they lose. The medicine came quickly with the big win over Navy, and that got them rolling. Well, it didn't take a rocket science to figure out that once you get past Syracuse, which isn't a great program, but it's a representative program, well, now you have the opportunity to go 4-0 in the non-conference, and, and obviously Eastern Michigan should not be the opponent Syracuse is, so they have an opportunity, just like they did last year, Neil, to get rolling here for the next few weeks. Yeah, uh, I think people thought maybe because it's away from home, Hackenberg's for, you know, inexperienced quarterback's first uh, start. Uh, Syracuse has experience playing in the Meadowlands. Uh, that, that may be the more likely of the non-conference games that they can lose. But, you know, I think Central Florida yeah. and, and uh, Kent State will be representative. I think this game here uh, against Eastern Michigan, which typically gets blown out by the name programs it plays, uh, should be a, an opportunity for Penn State to win pretty big. Well, obviously, a lot of guys made some big plays. Daquan Jones had a terrific game. Obeying had a terrific game. Gary Gilliam, Allen Robinson. Hackenberg was going to be a lot of the storylines, but right. we just finished talking with Daquan Jones. The kid lost you know, upwards of 10, 15 pounds, got himself in a lot better playing shape, and well, what what a difference he is as a player compared to last year. Yeah, I mean, that's what you want. You want somebody on the defensive line that can command the double team, and it looks like it's going to be him. Um, and I have to look at the, the stats or whether they actually put this out, but nine uh, nine tackles, eight solos, which is a huge number yeah. for a, a defensive tackle. Absolutely, and obviously OB Najapon can play all over the place. Terrific first game. Um, my concern out of the first game was really the running game. Now, Syracuse loaded the box, and it's going to be tough to run the ball when another team loads the box. And if Christian Hackenberg can continue to play well, teams aren't going to be able to do that. But you know, Zach Zwinek wasn't particularly as strong. The offensive line didn't run block particularly well. What, was your, what were your thoughts yeah, about that? I would line? agree with that, and I think you're going to continue to see that when you have a freshman quarterback. The first thing you have to do is take away the run. I mean, if a, if a team like Penn State's going to be steamrolling you, then you have no chance to compete. So I guess that didn't overly surprise me. Um, the, the concern that I had, uh, maybe more than the running game, because that was designed, they were designed to kind of take that away, was the injuries. Matt Lehman is now out for the year. Uh, Mike Hall was uh, questionable. Uh, same with Kyle wow. Carter this week. Yeah, and that's obviously going to be the storyline throughout the year. You just can't afford to lose a couple of players. Hopefully Hall... He did seem to say, he said on the Big Ten Network Monday night that Hull's probably said that, you know, again today. That would be a huge plus if they can get him back. But uh, you're right, if, if they lose a couple of key players, especially in some significant areas where they don't have a lot of depth, you start to look at this season a lot differently. The other thing that kind of jumped out at me is how critical O'Brien is of himself. Right. Uh, he really takes a lot of the blame. He's always saying they got to coach better. It, it, it appeared that he was not overly thrilled with his play call and putting uh, Hackenberg in some, uh, some tough spots and maybe his timeout management toward the end of the half. He alluded to some of those things today. I thought, all, I thought those were great points. I noticed that as well because Joe would always take the blame. 
Joe would always fall on his sword. Do you believe what he's saying, or do you think that's part of his strategy to take the pressure off the players and keep things positive? Because, I mean, again, Zach Zwinnick's a thousand-yard rusher. You put the ball in his hands, whether you like the play call or not, you know, your players have to lose. Yeah, uh, both. I, I don't think their offensive line really played uh, particularly well, partic- especially when you consider that, I mean, people were talking about this being a great offensive line. Right. So they still have a lot to prove going into this, and I would guess they're still going to be <laughs> challenged on the run to try to reestablish that going into the next game. Well, it's Eastern Michigan. The line is, what, 24 or whatever. We both have them winning big. What's your score? I picked it 44-13, Penn State. Right, I've got 43-16, so we're pretty much right there. I think uh, – see a pretty big day from the passing game this week. I, I, I think that he's going to want Christian Hackenberg to continue to build a lot of confidence during these non-conference games. Yeah, it'll help to have uh, Allen Robinson for a whole game. Yeah, absolutely. All right, for Neil Riddell, I'm Corey Geiger. Thanks for tuning in.